Too interesting. <laughs> Hello, Baloo. <laughs> It's literally where Baloo wants to go, you, you follow. Yes. Oh, flat pole. Oh, I think bring oh, it. Sorry. Safe, can you get me a flat pole? That's what I have to do, like, 10 minutes in the garden, flat pole, and then I can just about walk in. Yeah. I mean, this just isn't fun. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's no. Go get that. That's it, Baloo. Well done, mate. Go get that one. There you go, let's get a bit of focus going on from you, shall we? Baloo! Ready? Baloo? I just want a little bit of focus from him first. Baloo. Baloo has no idea what the lead means. For Baloo, tension means pull more. I want to teach him tension. Yes! Means slow down. Okay. So tension. Yes. Yes. Start to shape where I want him. Tension. Yes. <laughs> Not zoom is. <laughs> oh, what a boy, what a boy you are! Hello? Yes! I need to make him spatially aware. Because he's so bloody big, I need him to be aware of this leg. Okay? So, what's going to happen is that as I turn, it's going to go into him like so. Be aware of that leg. Go in, go in. Be aware of the leg. Just needs to slow down a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go this way. Now I'm not kicking him in the head, I'm not kneeing him in the head, I just want him to be aware when I turn to give him to the space. Slowing him down a bit. The way he uses his body to go through you, I'm kind of doing the same thing to him. And I want him to be aware whatever way I turn. Yeah boy. <laughs> Going down. Sit. That's what a loose lead's like. <laughs> we good? I mean, we haven't introduced a dog yet. <laughs> So when someone comes, short but relaxed lead. See, looks hope he's coming. See, he's already gearing up. Wait. See the difference. Pull forward. Ah. Bring him round. Sit. Forward. Stay there. No. Yeah. That barking is his way of saying, give me attention, give me attention. Sit. Now, the mistake people make, if I stand here, walk towards him, walk, walk, walk right straight towards him, see how he can go straight there, and then if he's all worked up, Boom! 65 kilos St. Bernard on you. Baloo, come here. 
Whereas if somebody goes, oh, it's a lovely dog, can I say hello? Talk towards me. Sit. I get him under control. I stand here. That way, I've got a short but relaxed lead. So if he does jump up, I just pull up and I go into him to create that space. Then, when he's looking at me, go ahead and let him go and say hello to a person. But taking those few minutes means he's calmer than just that smash, smash, smash. And then when we're done, so I don't pull him away, I'm gonna get very close and personal with you now, so. Watch this leg, let's go. Into him, create space, yeah? Because sometimes when you pull a dog back, they can get frustrated. So again, it's that body into the dog to create some space. Yeah? But he's learning, he's a smart dog. They are super smart, St. Bernard's are. Come here, bud. Come around. Stop, sit. And a boy. Shaking your head. Is that a good shake of the head? Magic. Magic, Bello. Magic. Yeah, you can get all the fuss in the world, just keep your fucking paws on the floor. <laughs> if he really goes, I just use my momentum to take him around. Yeah, so I can use my whole body. Look, there's Frank. Frank, 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 Frank. But I can just use my body and here to bring him around. So I'm not using strength to move him. I'm using what he's got. If I'm up here, it will go this way, go towards Frank. But again, just bring him round like so. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? A little go closer. Body around. Yeah, you're not gonna physically outpower him. So, thumb locked off, not going anywhere. Hand across the ear. Boom, away we go. One more time. We go this way. He wants to go that way, I go that way. Effortless to move the 65 kilo dog. Yeah? Now we're gonna let him say hello to Frank. We're gonna walk around a bit. Walk with me, sir. Yeah, we'll just walk around. <laughs> yeah, I know. But we broke it down step by step. I can't put, sit. I can't put him around the dog until I can control him. Otherwise, he controls the situation, yeah? So I can't stop him reacting to a dog, pulling towards a dog, lunging at a dog, if my lead is constantly tight, yeah? Once I've taught him what the lead means, then I can control the dog. Once I can control the dog, so come here, walk towards me. Frank's there, sit. So walk towards me. Oh, sorry. We're gonna have a conversation, <laughs> so. Once I can control the dog, that, so right now, he's really going. See my lead tight? Watch this leg. Wait, into him, yeah? And I'm gonna come round, and I'm gonna reset. Not through the legs, sit. That was him jumping on me as a protest, not me pulling him up. He's 65 kilos, I can't physically string him up. Hello. Yeah, walk towards me a little bit. Stop there. Sit. Sit. Loose lead. Relaxed. Sniff in. Good boy. Break it a little bit because he's fixating. So just walk around. Create, break that fixation. Sit. Good boy. You look a bit surprised. <laughs> I love it. Right. Can you let me say hello? Can you stop me? Yeah, go on in. Go on in, mate. The freak's like, what the fuck? I'm not sure. So I'm going to keep him on a lead. He understands the lead, so you only do this if the dog understands the lead so you don't create frustration. But I, I want to slow him down because what he's going to do, Frank's a bit unsure. So what he's going to do is jump straight on Frank and Frank's going to shit himself. 
right? So I want to make sure I can control him. And again, it's all down to that lead walking. Get that lead walking under control. Introductions to people, introductions to dogs, walking past people, walking past birds, whatever, becomes easier. But until I fix this, nothing else can be achieved. Bring us, come over here, Soph. Short and sweet, short and sweet. Sit. Short and sweet. So again, limitations, because once he's got there, everything else goes out the window. Little play bow, little play bow, come on, let's go. Back to calm. Go on in. Take him away when he gets too much. That way, I'm not having you through my legs again, mate. Sit. Yeah, he was taking me through. Now you're going to take him through. So. Where do you want to come on your right or left? That's your right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? When I started training dogs, I thought there was only a handful of people that struggled with left and right. I have to start by taking him for a walk. Take him with you. And he'd walk on the left, would not he? No, actually. Yeah. How was that? Yeah, that's that, better because I, I would yeah. ended up with you. No, but, but that's the point. When he goes, mm. there's a stop mm -hmm. now. There wasn't before. He would just choke himself yeah, and you yeah. would go and with him. Gone, yeah. yeah? If he's going to walk down there, but I want you to be able to walk past that. Yeah? So, Soph, you ready? So, you go that way, Soph, and you're going to go along that way. So, whenever you're ready, yeah? don't let him take you. Yeah. How was that? It's good. In the but little things like that, see how when he goes behind you, how you can get him back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I would be struggling then. In the end, I'll just give up and let him go behind me. Yeah. But we taught him what the collar means. So he knows as soon as he feels it, he's to take a foot off the gas mm -hmm. because then it makes. Because this works by creating discomfort. That's why it works. Mm -hmm. Put him on a harness, that creates comfort so the dog can pull exactly. comfortably, yeah? Now he knows how to pull, it doesn't matter what tool you put him on, he knows how to pull. All dogs know how to pull, but the harness creates that comfort so it allows him to pull comfortably. This creates discomfort, but you teach him what it means. So as soon as he look like that, that little bit there, that created a bit of discomfort, he takes one step back, yeah. the discomfort's turned off. He's in control of it. But he's only in control of it because we taught him what it means. Mm -hmm. Yeah? When you feel that tightening, you take a step back, that tightening turns off. So walk past Frank again for me. Go this way, so. Uh, no, yeah, just, just walk past, just figure it out as you get there. <laughs> See the difference? Yeah. We've just upgraded your brakes, that's all we've done. Right. <laughs> sit. Sit. No. Sit. It's like a child crying. Sit. Let him say hello to Frank because this is what I want. I want you to let him say hello to Frank. Right. And then I want you to stop him saying hello to Frank. So when I say now, just walk away with him. Now. So just walk alongside 
them, yep. but I want you to walk past me. New dog, new challenge. Okay. You see right there, you have some time to rest. Take him with you. See, look at that. See the difference? Keep going, keep going, keep going, and then relax. And come back towards me. And just stop there. And don't let him go forward. So get him into a seat if you need to. There you go. Yeah. But if you need to, just pull up. Yeah, and get him back. That's it. There you go. Turn it around. Mind that little step. We'll put you in a really awkward position here. I do apologise for that. However, this is real life. Sometimes there's curved balls in your way and stuff like that. So this is the hardest it's been. So if you can control him here, you can control him anywhere. <laughs> so, rocks. Rocks, come here. And of course, this is in really close proximity. The reason we're in here and not outside is because outside it's easier. Mm. In here, it's harder. So I'm literally trying to throw everything at you to make sure you've got control. Which I <laughs> You have if you trust the technique. Yeah? You're so inclined when one to go forward as opposed to that way. Yeah? Always. Yeah. Opposite way to him. Mm -hmm. So you don't get taken off your feet. So remember, if you feel you're losing control, turn away from him. If I come forward a little bit. Away, body, see, then into a sit. 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 See the difference? Don't be afraid to go around to go forwards. Yeah. yeah? It's not forever, he was really good out there at passing by when you've got space, but in close proximity it's really difficult. So you use what you've got versus what you normally want to do, and that's physically get into that battle of pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. Mm -hmm. One step. Come here, sit. Don't be fooled, he's going to lunge. So what you did was exactly what you're not meant to do. But one, you let him lay down, but then also when he moved forward, you move forward versus... Yep. Go with him, around you go, around you go, around you go, into a sit. Sit. And remember to relax and breathe. And one more time, look, see how he's looking? Break that, and then, yeah? And again, this way, wait, to the side. Now the hardest two things you've got to do is break your bad habits mm -hmm. and breathe. <laughs> because he's doing it perfectly for me. That's what I'm saying, it's so easy when he does it for you. Yeah, but, but that's because I don't have those bad habits and that's because I trust in my ability, yeah? And that travels down the lead. You're learning these new things for the first time and you're overthinking. Come back this way. This is the hardest bit. So look, as he starts to look, step to the side. There you go. Go past again. Angles are everything. So this time, when he starts to look, looking, looking into him. There you go, and then straighten up. See it come back this way, and I'm gonna make it slightly more challenging for you this time. Come on, come out this way. Remember, yes! See that fixation the entire time. You have to break that fixation or you're gonna lose control. Break that fixation or you're gonna lose control. Break that fixation or you're gonna lose control. There you go. Step. And stop, get him in the sit. See what I mean? Break that fixation or you lose control. So when you feel him fixating, when you, that's when you have to break it. 
Yeah, whether it's you going into him to break it or whether it's you turning away from him. Anything to break that fixation. Once that fixation's broke, he then listens to you. Mm -hmm. But why he's fixating is called yeah. loading. So he's going, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer, and then you lose control. Yeah, and what happens as he's doing that, you're going, yeah. <laughs> First challenge is just to walk past him. If you feel him like staring, just in for him and create a bit of space. Whenever you're ready. to react there he would got so close to her before you started to do it but you did move him away yeah how'd you feel yeah it'd be good I think I, like I know I, I wanted know. to see I, I, I think I wanted to see how close I could get okay you know, didn't want to disturb it at all. get as close as you want <laughs> and I can't break this I know you talk about I'm not using words, but I'm still talking to you. Sit. Sit. So how does little things like that, how does that feel? Yeah. Yeah? It feels great because Nigel really knows you. Yeah. You're not a stranger. No. But yeah, I'm but talking about when the street. Yeah, but what <laughs> what? Done that. I'm talking about when he does go to break that position that he's in and pull towards something. How do you feel in terms of when you're communicating with him? Do you feel it's better than when he had the normal? Well, I'm not fighting him. You know what I mean? That, that, that's what we're looking for. We yeah, don't want to fight him. He's 65 yeah. kilos. It's about technique. So, God, we'll pass Sammy again. I'll yeah. make it slightly more challenging this time. Oh, yes! <laughs> Focus break. So, we'll pass again. Sammy, sit. Speak. Oh, I thought. Comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> 